Alexander Panov, welcome to WPC TV. You're a former Deputy Foreign Minister of Russia and also, of course, your ambassador in Tokyo, here in Seoul. Uh, so you really know this region extremely well. What do you think of American foreign policy in this region, the pivot to Asia and so on? Oh, first of all, I would like to say that I am now deeply involved in studying, actually, American policy to this region, especially to China. And I would like to say that, uh, of course, the uh, United States uh, uh, has a great, uh, had a great role in this region. It's out of question. It will be, uh, well, uh, uh, not uh, realistic to, uh, to realize that, maybe to prognose that America may leave the region. It's absolutely not so. Uh, but at that time, for American policy, the greatest problem is China. What to do with China? It's uh, really so. And, well, up to this moment, there is uh, no clear strategy, as I, I see. Of course, uh, it's a combination of uh, containment and cooperation, uh, which is the uh, uh, main pillar of American policy toward China. Sometimes it's more uh, containment, sometimes it's more cooperation, but uh, still, uh, what is China? What will be China in the next decade, for instance? It, what must be the response of the United States? It's not yet clear. And sometimes it's steps which are, well, natural when the United States is trying to uh, uh, invite China to some cooperation. But on the other hand, uh, America is not uh, hiding its attempts to contain China and uh, arranging alliances, uh, arranging, well, relations with some countries and uh, which China regards as a deterrence policy. And what does your country, Russia, feel about this? Well, Russia, unfortunately, is still not so much involved in the relations in this region and uh, uh, we uh, uh, I mean, politi some politicians, diplomats and business people, we insist that Russia should be more involved in affairs in this region. But reality is such that uh, Far Eastern region and Siberia is not developed much enough to Rus for Russia to play some big role in this region. But at, that, at the same time, we, we saw that uh, many countries of the region would like to have Russia here in the Asia Pacific as a balance to China and to United States. So uh, small countries, they prefer, of course, uh, not domination of any power. So, well, we have uh, some room for maneuver, but at this moment, of course, we are more and more um, inclined to have uh, relations with China, which is natural because there is no other choice. But at that time, for me, as for my ambassador to Japan, it's clear that we should pay more attention to our relations with Japan as well. Dr. Panov, thank you very much.